How to create tables with Canva. Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create tables on Canva. So let's jump right in. Now to get started with creating tables on Canva, we have two ways. Either we can create tables within Canva or we can use Google Sheets to create our tables and import them into Canva. So I'll show you guys both ways. And first off, we're going to get started with our Canva table via a Google Sheet. So everyone has a Google account and we can log into our Google account to access Google Sheet. Now, once we access Google Sheet, we can create our preferred table. So let's say I just want to create the calendar. So I want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Once we have all seven of our days, we have the weeks. And let's say I want to add a little bit of a highlight. So I will add a background color and then I want to highlight four rows underneath with a different color. Let's say I want to do a light pink and I can even open up a lighter color of my preference. Now with that, I can also select my table over here and we can format this table. So the way we can format this is if we want, we can add different highlights, we can add different colors or lines to segregate our sections. So we're gonna add borders and in our borders, we only might want inner borders or outer borders like this. We can also choose the border style that we want to use for any particular section. Now, if I want, I can click on this section over here. So I can click on the top line only and then click on border. And then I can add a border on the bottom and then I can choose the thickness of that to be thicker than the rest. Now I can also choose to increase or decrease the overall sizing of my table. So if I want, I can adjust all of the sizes or space everything out evenly. We can also choose our text wrapping and text rotations. We can also go ahead and create different views in our sheets. Now, once you're satisfied with your table, once you're like, okay, this looks fine to me and just looking to just import this directly as it is on Canva, all you have to do is click on file on the top and then click on import. Once you click on import or you can click on download and then click on download as a PDF. So you will see your current sheet over here and you will see your page orientation, the paper size and your formatting. So we're going to just click on export and this will be downloaded as a PDF. Now you can go into Canva and you can open up any document that you want or any design that you want. I'll just take this empty design. And all I have to do is I can upload my PDF by going into uploads on the left, click on upload files, and then I can upload my Canva sheet PDF over here. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for my PDF to be uploaded. And once your PDF is uploaded, you should be able to find it on the left. But if your upload is not showing up, you can actually import it in another way as well. So currently we will see on the bottom left, you will see it says project. So you can click on the project section. And then if you see over here, it will show your PDF. And just like that, our table has now been imported. As you guys can see, I can even increase or decrease the sizing of the table. And I can also adjust the text present within because the text is obviously going to be separated from the table. And we can also choose to, uh, you know, customize this with different text or animations. Now, this is just one way to add a table on Canva. There is an alternative way where you can build tables directly on Canva. And I do find that way to be pretty efficient as well. So let's see how we can do that. To do that, simply go into elements on the left and then search for a table. Once you search for a table, you will see a separate designated section called tables. This is a relatively new feature present in Canva. So just go on tables and you can pick out any style that you like or even customize any of this. Pick out a simple grid style and it will create a table for you. These types of tables have all of the functionality that you would see in Google Sheets or Excel. 
And from the top, you will see the option of three dots where you can merge cells as well as select a row or column. If you want, you can click on these three dots and choose to unmerge cells, even delete tables or certain columns or lines. You can even click on add column to add more columns as are required. So if I want, I will click on add column and we have six columns now. I want to add seven columns for the seven days of the week. I'll add another column like so. Then I can resize this to accommodate for the size of our document like this. And with Canva tables, again, you can do height or width adjustments as you normally would on Excel sheets. And if you want to move the entire table, you can move it by the dots on the corners of every table, like so. So now once I have put in the size, I can start typing. So for that, I'll choose a smaller font size and I'll add the days. So I can add Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, like this. And I'll change Monday as well. This is 14. I'll keep a 14 size for this as well, like this. And then below that, I can add my information as I normally would. Now in Canva, to further make our tables a bit more interesting to look at, we can see if we select a single cell, we have the option to alter the colors of the text. We also have the option on the top left where it says color. You can click on this option and choose to add a color. To make a easier bulk edit, simply hold shift if you're on Mac or hold command if you are on Windows. Select multiple different cells together. So I'll select this entire cell section and I will add a background color throughout all of these like this. So I can add a different background color to the bottom rows over here. Let's say for each individual column, I want a different color. So I would just select that column and then click on color. And then I can add a different color for each column like so. So I might want to add pink. And then for the next one, I can select the three elements within the column. And then I'll add blue like this. And we can add different colors. You can also add rows underneath by clicking on the bottom over here and then click on add row. You can also choose to move rows up and down and also size columns equally. You can even size the row to fit the content that is present within the row. So no row is unnecessarily too large or too small. And in this way, you can create tables within Canva. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.